Hello everyone, this is Ninja Guy underscore 12 here bringing you a match in the Gym Striker Kai. Uh, before we continue, if you guys want to know the colors that I've used, which I don't actually remember off the top of my head what these colors were, but um, if you guys did want to know what they are, um, just you could always ask me in the comment section down below or on my Discord server. Link to that is in the description, and if you want to make any uh, GB2 request videos this month, you can also ask me on my Discord server. So, <clears throat> before I continue, I did want to quickly apologize to um, Z Prime 14 Originally, he requested um, a video with the Jim Striker. How? However, the problem is, is I've been having some pretty terrible luck recently, and I've gotten zero good matches with um, the Gym Striker. However, I did have a pretty cool match with the Gym Striker Kai here, um, so I didn't want to just go let this video go to waste. So I hope you don't mind the Prime 14 if uh, this counts as the request video or not. Obviously, if you want me to do an actual request on the Gym Striker, I, I certainly keep trying, but I won't guarantee that will actually happen anytime soon. So hopefully, this will partially make up for that. But if I actually do get a good match with uh, the Gym Striker, I will actually upload it. So <clears throat> the Gym Striker Kai is a 300 I think oh, no 350 general I think at level 1 then it goes up to I think 450 it is a space only raid and it is very good at its job actually it is surprisingly good it is a very fun raid to say the least I do have like one or two small issues with it but overall this is a very fun raid and I really do hope that we'll eventually get an actual HG of this. Because I actually do prefer the kind of design of the Gym Striker Kai. Over just the original Gym Striker. I mean the Gym Striker is already a cool mobile suit. But if I had to pick between the Gym Striker and the Gym Striker Kai. I think I gotta go with the Gym Striker Kai. I mean the backpack and the kind of extra swords it has is just too cool. So <clears throat> anyways. The Gym Striker, again, is a raid. It's basically, a, a, again, a space-type version of the Gym Striker, but just slightly different, and it's space-only. So, going over the weapons, it kind of reflects that. So, in terms of weapons, you have either the 100mm machine gun, that's mostly associated with like suits like the Gym uh, Ground Type and the Gundam Ground Type, the Z8, but you also have the option to equip the 90mm bullpop machine gun that's pretty much used by the Gym Command series. And I prefer using that machine gun over the just 100mm. That's just kind of personal preference. In terms of melee, you do get quite a few options with this one, unlike the Gym Striker, as basically you could have a basically double-ended beam sword like this. You can have um, the kind of beam lance or the beam scythe. So basically pick whatever one you want, honestly. Um, though honestly, it's probably best just to stick with the kind of double-ended sword. Uh, personally, though I will maybe try out with the lance and the scythe, but I haven't ever actually done that before. So can't really tell you off the top of my head how... Uh, well it does with those weapons equipped so there you go other weapons uh, includes I guess the sub weapons basically has a pair of head mounted Vulcans which are fine but I basically almost never use them but again um, probably should start doing that because you gotta have another extra melee weapon or range weapon I guess so this thing doesn't have really any range strength though so you shouldn't really have to be doing range damage anyway but whatever um and then it also has basically the uncoupled version of the double beam sword which is also quite good 
actually. Uh, the melee animations are, I think, identical to um, the was identical to the prototype Gundam's double beam sabers. So if you've used that suit's um, double beam sabers before, the melee animations are practically the same. So there you go. But overall, this is a very fun suit. I do love this suit a lot, though. I, again, I do have some small issues. Number one, I don't understand why this version still has the problem of just not being able to swing three times. I feel like you should be able to, with the only exception being obviously the uh, beam scythe. I feel like that's the only one that shouldn't be able to swing three times. But basically, I think for the lance and for the couple, the beam swords, you should be able to swing three times. That's kind of my first major complaint with this suit. The other one is kind of it's like more of a buff and obviously I doubt that it will ever happen but maybe consider giving this a dodge rule. I mean it's already kind of hard for this thing to get into a situation because you kind of have to rely on your machine gun to actually stagger people or team coordination and god only knows how often you actually get teammates to actually help you. But again only my fantasy would actually have this thing give uh, a dodge roll. But regardless, this is a very fun raid. Design wise, I do love the Gym Striker and the Gym Striker Kai, but again, I kind of prefer the Gym Striker Kai just that wee bit more. And then you also have the Striker Custom, which that one's also pretty cool, but uh, there's just something about the Gym Striker that's pretty cool. Uh, I just wonder if we'll actually get any model kits of the Gym Striker Kai or the just Striker Custom. And honestly, at least for the Gym Striker Kai, they don't have to do much. All they need to do is just give us a new backpack, and that's basically it. Unless there's like space-specific like thrusters or something, like with the Rick Dom and the Dom. Like, basically, the only new thing they actually need to make is basically the backpack and the beam effect parts for the sword. And then the gimmick to actually combine them or just have it as a separate piece. So it shouldn't be that difficult for them to actually, you know, make the Gym Striker Kai, but they're just choosing not to. But, whatever. I'm sure there's like some like resin kits or like garage kits that allow you to make the Gym Striker Kai or the Striker Custom, but in terms of actual gunpla, yeah, that's not really a thing, which is unfortunate. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and commentary, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, everyone.